on guys, I forgot my GoPro, so this is going to be my intro for now. Uh, Nate's up there in his yellow truck, we're going to head to the desert, so uh, catch you guys there, uh, right before we go on the trail, so uh, be an interesting video. Well guys, we're almost to the trail, as you can see there's the uh, desert back there, it's not even that hot out. Uh, it's just the start of desert season, so uh, we're going to be heading out and do a little messing around with the trucks and my little 50, so it'll be a fun weekend. Okay, Nate, tell me about your uh, trucks out in the desert. So, this white one over here, as you can tell, it's a 65 short bed. And this truck was my uncle's truck before he got that one. This one he's had since like late 1970s, early 1980s. And that was his work truck, that's why it's got a lumber rack on it. And he treated this one like it was a three quarter ton truck, like that one. So, about late 90s, it started having issues. I mean, it, it originally had a 240 inline six, and then that one got worn out. Now it's got a 289. 289 started getting a little tired, so he put two heads on it, but then it started making a knocking sound. And then it sat in that back corner for the last 20 years, up until I started getting the hang or getting a hold of it. Then I started working with it and started trying to get it running, and it actually runs. So. But after this one got parked back there, that one came in the picture. And since he, he already had that one, he had these two running for a few years simultaneously. But since that one was already running, it's a much stronger truck. He figured he'd just use that one and never, never ended up getting around to this one. So. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name If you come around here, I'll make them all day I get one down in a second if you wait I fly like paper, get high like planes If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name If you come around here, I'll make them all day I get one down in a second if you wait Well, last night actually turned out to be an eventful night after getting my truck stuck. So you can see this big ditch over there. We decided to wait till morning to get it unstuck, but then a bunch of uh, Jeeps came by. Uh, them being nice people, we actually got them to help us pull my truck out. As you guys can tell, or probably not tell, the sand back here is super, uh, super soft. It's like a silt. Um, it's pretty difficult to get out of once you get in. Uh, it looks solid until I start spinning, but uh, truck's out now and we're gonna head down to a dry lake bed and then do some cool photos there. Well guys, we made it uh, to this vista. We're gonna do some film shots with Nate's camera. Can't get any phone calls on it. Yeah, some, uh, use this old school camera and take some pretty sick shots. Um, so far on the trip, uh, one of the radiator hoses on my truck wasn't fully tightened and had a little leak there and a fan whacked the ascending unit for the temp gauge so that's busted but the truck runs fine now um, looks pretty cool this is background nice truck and I'll try my best once we get out to the hill to do some rolling shots of the truck and go from there 
Sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every stop I get to, I'm clocking that game. Everyone's a winner, we're making our fame. Bona fide hustler, making my name. Sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every stop I get to, I'm clocking that game. Everyone's a winner, we're making our fame. Bona fide hustler, making my name. Well guys, this is the Salton Sea. We are walking on dead fish. And it smells terrible. But what are you talking about? it smells amazing. Be grateful you even have a sense of smell. I go around in circles. I was, every time you come to me, I'm just sitting here for Well, we made it a bit earlier, as you saw from the clips when I was a bit brighter out. But uh, here is the trucks. We actually made it to uh, Superstition. The trucks look pretty sick. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning on our way back. Um, take some cool long exposure shots tonight and see if I can get some better driving shots because it's kind of difficult. Here's the sunset. Mm. 